subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna do a short little video. I had this idea to do a video of things I no longer eat while on my health and fitness journey. Now, this is no means of video to say, you should not be eating this. Because I will say, once I joined WW or Weight Watchers a few years ago, I have not eliminated any particular food out of my diet. I still enjoy everything on moderation. However, there are a few foods that, not because Weight Watchers told me to, that I just no longer partake in because I am happy with the healthier alternative. So I wanted to share those with you. This will be a really quick video. And if you like this video, I may do the five things like I now eat while on a health and fitness journey because there's also some things I used to not eat that now I eat regularly. Number one of the things that I used to not eat but drink daily was full fat sodas. So yeah, I have been an avid soda drinker my entire life from I would say college and on I always had at least one soda a day but I did always limited it limit it to one soda however I could never do diet but when these zero sugars came out I think coke was first I absolutely got where I could get behind these the diet sodas I never could get behind they tasted kind of weird to me but these definitely do the trick I'm not saying I never drink full fat or full sugar I should say again but I have not purchased them in the last three years at my house I only keep the zero sugar varieties I absolutely love like the vanilla and the cherry even the um, zero sugar Mountain Dews and Sprite I am so happy with zero sugar and that we got away from all that diet nasty diet crap I get it, it's the same concept I'm not fooling myself <laughs> The next thing I don't find myself buying or eating on my health and fitness journey is full carb bread items. This is Mrs. Barrett's. Uh, we bought this because we had company over with children, but I am buying the low carb bread. I like the 45 calorie uh, Sara Lee bread. Uh, Trader Joe's has a lower calorie option as well, and as does Aldi. I like those. I would say in the last three years, I've only had a sandwich on Mrs. Baird's maybe five times, whereas before I was eating weekly sandwiches on this bread. And then another thing is tortillas. These are corn tortillas. Hang on, I grabbed the wrong thing. I do eat the corn tortillas. They're not that many points at all. The tortillas I do not eat now are the full carb ones. I go for the extreme Olay wellness wraps are the carb counters. There's a ton of them out there nowadays. They really don't bother me, to be honest, and most of them are one point, some of them are two points. But this is just somewhere where the replacement item to me is just as good as these, so I don't buy them. It's a fluke that we have them on hand. To be honest, I have no idea why we have these. We may have had people over. If people come over, I buy the regular, and that's the only reason. If not, if it's just my husband and I, these wouldn't be in the house. <laughs> The third thing I don't find myself buying nearly as often or eating nearly as often on Weight Watchers is full fat pasta. I love all the pasta replacements I have found. Some of my favorites are the Trader Joe's Hearts of Palm pasta along with the red lentils. I also like protein pasta and um, the chickpea pasta. I haven't tried the chickpea but a handful of times, but the ones I've tried I have liked. I will in a pinch buy regular pasta, but I just don't think it's worth the extra points. To be honest, I don't even notice a difference at all. The artichoke pasta I do, but like the chickpea and protein pasta, I don't notice any difference. So I'm not willing to spend the extra points and calories. Might as well get a better one with better protein and that's it. But it does help that I'm not a pasta lover too. So if pasta is your jam, obviously don't cut it out if you prefer the regular one. Not recommend then anyone give up their fave. The fourth item I have completely replaced in my diet since my health and fitness journey is full fat creamer. I am totally confined with the zero sugar ones. 
So in the last three years, the only one I have purchased that was not zero sugar was the, oh, the Friends Perk one, the hazelnut chocolate mocha. And lucky a viewer told me there was a sugar-free version at Walmart, so I immediately transferred to that one, so that was good. This is my husband. Oh, this is zero sugar. He never has zero sugar. This is new. He always has full fat. So just imagine there's no green label. Huh, he shocked me there. Maybe he's going sugar-free too. That may be good. So then that we don't have to, his, his creamer's in the door. My creamer. <laughs> he's always fine with one at a time. I have three. And these are all sugar-free. So four creamers in a fridge at a time. Tell me I'm crazy. <laughs> I may be a little obsessive, but if he's drinking sugar-free, that's awesome. But anyhow, that is the fourth item. And the final item I no longer eat on my health and fitness journey is Bluebell ice cream. And I'm from Texas, so a lot of people may think I'm anti-Texan. That's not the case. I tried Halo Top at the very beginning of my journey, and I have to say, I really enjoy it. I don't enjoy the price, but even Bluebell is quite expensive, so I really like it. I don't like the chocolate as much as the vanilla. This was like my first time buying the chocolate, but the vanilla, I really like to make ice cream sundaes, especially with like um, either pineapple or strawberry, but you can also do caramel or Hershey syrup. I'll show you the two I use. The Zero Sugar Smuckers and the Zero Sugar Hershey's make a really low point Sunday as well. So friends, those are the five food and drink items that I am no longer consuming on a daily or weekly or monthly basis on my health and fitness journey. And I will say it was mainly directed by Weight Watchers because they were items I just did not want to spend the points on. But I have found replacements where I was happy with them. Had I not been happy with them, then I would continue to spend those points. And that'll bring me to the next video, things I am happy to spend my points on that are higher point and higher calorie. But that's it. Just a really quick, short video. Have a good weekend. Bye.